What's up YouTube, welcome back to Skookum Living. Today we got a fun project, we're going to be making some of these battery powered flicker lanterns. And so you don't need fuel or anything, just two AA batteries to power it. Let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be taking out this glass bulb, as to not break it. So we're going to set that aside. Then we're going to disassemble a little bit. First off, we need to convert this part. This is the, the wick of the lantern. But in order to send wires through it, we need to do a little cutting. So I got my angle grinder. Cut that part off. Then we now have a big open spot where the wires can go in. So we're just gonna reinstall this back down in the bottom here. So to do this project, I got some of these little AA battery packs. They just hold two batteries and they got the wires in and out. Got a couple little strips of wire that we're gonna be using to attach our light bulbs and a switch just so you can power on and off your light from the outside. And we got these light bulbs. They're made to go in a 110 outlet. So I found out that if you just open them up, on here there's a little capacitor in here that takes it from 110 all the way down to 3 volts and it turns out two AA batteries is exactly 3 volts so we're going to be able to take this 110 light bulb and use two AA batteries to run them. I've had this one going for about five days now uh, flickering constantly and it's still going strong so the two AA batteries do last quite some time so once I got my light bulb open, popped open like that, I can just Cut those pieces off like that. I'm gonna use this angle grinder again just to cut the bottom off of this. Smoothing out the bottom a little bit. And I'm just gonna use a putty knife to pull the plastic part off. But this little plastic part around the top is again too high, so we're just gonna click this off. So now that you cut these off, you wanna strip the ends off of it quite a bit. Give yourself about half an inch or so, maybe a little longer. I already stripped these ends off of here, so you want to go red to red. If you want to solder it, you can. If you want to use wire, tiny wire nuts, you can. For this application, I think it's totally fine just to use a little square of electrical tape. And that's just holding these two wires together and insulating them from touching anything else. This will hold plenty well for our particular applications with this. So as you can see now, we got a light bulb that's been cannibalized, taken apart with the two leads. Now these leads are gonna go right down through the light bulb. Because we want the power source to be underneath the lantern. So we want this to come right down inside. I'm gonna put a square in the bottom to put the battery pack in. So I'm just gonna mark out a general square on the bottom. And then we're gonna put one side that's just going to be beveled so then it can still open up and close. Open that right up. Now we can use this to clean off the edges. There we go. Now we want a switch on here. So let's put the switch kind of right up front. Right here. I have one of these step bits and they're really good for drilling into metal of various sizes. And I've measured this out so I know it wants to go to the second to last step in order for this little switch to go in. So we're just gonna start a hole. And as you can see, as it goes in, it makes a bigger and bigger and bigger hole. There we go, we got a hole. Now what we want to do is feed our wires through the cage and through where the wick goes to bring it down below the lantern. And the reason why we flatten the light bulb out is because that needs to fit down in there. So when the glass bulb goes on, this just sits right in place. So 
So just like that, the wiring's done. We have the red wire that's coming out of the battery pack that's going and attaching to the red wire that goes to the light bulb. And then the black wire is going through to the on section of the switch. It's also piggybacked over to the other on part of the switch. That's why there's that little U in there. And then the black goes from the switch up into the light bulb. And so what should happen is if we turn on this battery pack and switch on the light switch, we have fire. All right. Now that we know that the power works, we can install the light switch. And they're pretty easy. We drill the hole. You just put this light switch through it. It's got the little face plate on there that tells you the on and off directions. And then there's a little nut that spins around on the outside of it. Now we're going to take our power source and this can fit up into the body, up into the fuel section, and that can just fold shut. I have some of this rubberized waterproof tape that we're going to use to seal the bottom up. So just cut a square of that or electrical tape or duct tape or anything. So it just comes along here on the bottom and seals up that compartment. You'll never even see it. Now in order to give this glass bulb a better appeal, because if you just put the light inside of it and switch it on, it looks like a bunch of little LED lights. So in order to make it look more like fire, we're gonna add a little frostedness to it. At your local hardware store, they sell frosted glass spray paint. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of black to the bottom of the glass, because whenever you see a kerosene lantern, there's always a little bit of black soot at the bottom of the glass. And so we're gonna put a little bit of black on the bottom of it, and then put it with a little frosted paint afterwards, and that'll give it the nice antique look that we're going for. So in order to give it the most realistic peel, I only want the bottom to be affected by the black. That'll give it a nice shadow effect inside. All right, now let's try. We're gonna use some of this frosted glass spray paint now. And we're again gonna go the inside of the, the glass. Try and give it a nice thick, even coat. Let it dry for a minute. Now that we have our glass frosted, we just slide that over the plastic light, lock that down into place, and, and now you have yourself a battery powered kerosene lantern that looks like fire. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, thanks for watching, see you on the next one.